hey guys welcome back to my channel okay so today i am showing you how i am doing tanias box braids now i'm only going to show you how i did a few only because um this is just so you can see number one how a closer view on how i actually put the hair on the front she's very active she has gym so i didn't want nothing too heavy that she couldn't put inside of a ponytail but just stay watching and i'll explain it as we go along so i know you see here that the stitching Stitching is very important when it comes to a box braid. Um, and the reason why I braid it under like that, and as you see, it kind of looks like I'm gliding down the braid. That's because this is how you get done with your box braids faster. The longer you take to do a stitch, which a stitch is to braid down, it will take you that amount of time, whether it's four hours, eight hours. I've heard people 10 hours for just regular box braids. It is no way um, it should take you that long, especially if you've been braiding for a while. It's also very important that when you do the front to part the hair into two sections and if you see Tanaya making a face that's because not because I'm braiding tight but because Bella was biting her feet I told y'all Bella has to make a, a debut in every video honey she just cannot go without being heard or seen look at her she just armory and i had to take it out because i was being distracted by bella look as she wanted to get in the camera she is a mess so i actually made that braid too big She made it too big so I had to go back and um, adjust the hair the amount of hair that I had um, so that way I can get uh, the right size braid I like I'm very meticulous I love all my braids to be the same size I can't deal with some big some little um, some medium size some you don't know what you're gonna get surprise i got a jumbo braid like i can't deal with that i be looking at people other people braids and i'm like oh my god but nonetheless so you see i start out one way and then i reverse my hands and then that's my go-to right there that is how i could get done with the head of box braids in three and a half four hours right there that method and when it's very important and i'm going to teach you guys the importance of a stitch um but right now i'm just showing you how a closer view on how I part and how I stick it on but stitching is also very 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 important I'm just using um, on her hair it's just um, blue magic like a Indian hemp their version of like an Indian hemp um, hair grease normally I would use jam but and oh my god y'all see Tanaya's hair yo she 
did a big chop okay at the beginning of august her hair was so short um it was almost like boy length and that's her growth from august until she did these well i did these some of them she did the back um i did her front she did um well we did these right before she um went back to school um in january so like this was the saturday before so this was um after new year's i keep saying she because i'm so used to her doing her hair But do you see, I only did three braids and already, you know, this is how you work it. This is how you part it. And sorry, we're kind of, I'm trying to do hair, adjust the camera. So excuse that part, but just. Keep watching, guys. And I love clips. I can't stand combs. I love my, my double clip. And you'll see if you watch, I did it in two. So I stuck my finger like halfway through. And then, yep, two. Two is my go-to for the front. Three. I split the hair in three in the back half. I taught Tanaya that very same technique. And that is because even though it looks stiff, you can maneuver these braids. There is another video um, that I did on my page, how to do um, braids like an African or African braids, something like that. Um, and, and, and I show it in there very detailed on how to do the front the front you must i feel split it in twos so you can still maneuver even after the process is finished and as you see the stitching here and watch my hands that's the key to getting finished is to glide you want to you want to glide down the braid so the less amount of times you have to lift your hand off of the actual braid the faster you can get finished. I don't know what Tanaya is doing okay, back there, but she's doing something. But this is how I do my slip knot. This is my go-to one. That one, this one right here that I'm showing you is how Tanaya does it. It's, I don't know, I can't get down with that, but that one was how she does it, so. So, that was, she had to fill it to make sure that she liked it, like it was Tanaya approved. I mean, I don't know what we was talking about, but she was. Like I said, this parting technique is still, it's still considered the bricklayer, but it's kind of like, 
the round, the curved. And then, I mean, it kind of gives you the feel of like a box, but then a curve at the same time. This is my favorite. Because um, when I want to get done with the head, I want to get done with the head. You see, I'm telling you, it does not matter where you split the two as long as it's split in two sections. I try to split more so in the middle, but it does not matter as long as it's two. I've taught Tanaya this method. I'm teaching you guys this method. As long as it is split into two, don't it doesn't the rest don't matter especially for the front and if you want to see if you don't like okay well hers is kind of like it's not close together i did a video on how to get them closer together that goes back to that african um how to braid like an african um i can't I think that's the name of it or african braids but that will show you how I did it like my part my parting was closer together this is more so for someone who's active who wants their hair exercise wise they still want it cute but they don't want it close together um they don't want their edges snatched out this is that go-to right here believe me nobody is going to be complaining because it looks like this you gotta understand this is just the beginning so like i said guys this is just a little snippet watch my hands you see how see how I glide down the braid literally this is how I get done the less amount of time you t you really take your hand off the braid you can get done quicker because every second so you're able to just slide and I will teach you guys definitely that method okay guys well that would be all for today thank you guys for watching and thank you for all my old subscribers my new subscribers i love you all happy braiding bye